Hi guys, it's Rachel here and today I'm going to be doing my fox eye look for you guys. So to start off the whole look, I'm going to go with the Barry M Lip Rehab, just all over the lips. This is just really conditioning for when we do our matte lip. Then I'm going to go in with the Arborean Bamboo Matte Primer, just to whack that all over my face. Um, this primer is actually unbelievable for keeping you like shine free, especially in your T-zone. It's quite cooling as well when you put it on. It's just a really nice primer and it sits really well with a lot of different foundations. For foundation, I am going to go in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked and I think I'm in shade 40 NN. I could have gone up a shade. I think this is just a little bit, like a touch too fair. So I'm just brushing it on with a Smith 115 brush and I'm also just going in with a Beauty Blender just to really pat that into the skin. I think this foundation is better with a Beauty Blender. It's kind of buildable, medium coverage and it does last all day. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer, it's super high coverage and I'm just going to apply that to all my usual sort of conceal spots, the places I want to highlight. Um, I do use a lot of concealer as you can see. Now I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to really really press that into the skin. And because we've used the Beauty Blender with the foundation, it's not going to soak up as much so it's going to really keep that full full coverage that you want. Um, just make sure that underneath the eyes is really really smooth as well. For my cream contour, I'm going to go in with the Chanel, um, I think it's Soil Soleil Tan de Chanel. Oh my gosh, I butchered that. I'm just going to go in with a Morphe, it's like a small brush and I'm just going to apply that to my temples, my cheekbones, underneath my chin and my con the contour of my nose. I need a new chin so I'm going to go hard with that. It's, it's not good right now. To settle that, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm just going to take that on a beauty blender and then just apply it to all the areas that we concealed. I'm going to put quite a bit underneath my eyes, but not bake. Just really press it in and I'm going to bake um, underneath my contour just to really strengthen and define that contour that we've done and leave that to set. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go with my P. Louise base in shade 2. I'm just going to apply that with a fluffy brush and then pat that in with the Beauty Blender also. Beauty Blender will feature a lot, apparently. <laughs> the palette that I'm going to use today is the Elsie Cosmetics Minimalist Palette. I'm going to take the lighter brown shade and I'm going to apply that in a winged out motion on the outer corner of each eye. This is not going to go into the crease. This is just going to go on that outer V right out till the end of the brow. And and even further and then I'm going to diffuse it slightly into the lid not taking it too far and I'm just going to continue to build up that color until it is as dark as I would like it to be and I'm also going to take that color and connect it with the nose contour and just diffuse it up into the brow just to make that area a little bit more seamless now I'm going back into the palette taking the darker brown shade and I'm just going to use a smaller brush to do the exact same motion that we did with the first shade. I'm just going to take it out in that winged out motion. I really just want that to intensify it, make it darker, make it smokier and I'm not bringing that across the lid again because uh, I want to keep that first shade that we had. I just want to keep that cat eye type of shape that we have formed. So now I'm going to take the black from that palette and a liner brush. This is the MAC, I think it's the 216, 316, maybe. And I'm going to create a template basically for my gel liner using the shadow because it's just a little bit easier if you make a mistake. You can kind of blend it away a bit easier. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Inglot Gel 77 liner. Uh, there's no better liner out there at all. And I'm going to create my wing on the outer corner and I'm also just going to take a small pointer brush and I'm just going to smudge a little bit of that in. I'm going to keep the wing at the end but I'm going to smudge the rest of it and I'm going to also go in with the darker brown shade in the palette and I'm just going to blend that in with the rest just to kind of mesh it all together. I'm going to take the cream shade from that palette and just apply it to my inner corner to brighten that area. Then I'm also going to take a smaller angle brush in my Inglot liner and create my inner corner flick. For the inner corner flick, honestly, just extend the shape that your inner corner already is, just follow it. And I'm now going to apply Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, lots of coats, and I'm going to take the MAC Chromographic, I think it's 
the concealer pencil and apply that to my inner waterline just so I've got a really bright lower lash line. Lashes are Tatty Lash TL9s. And then I'm going to just dust away that bake from my bronzer. And to set that bronzer, I'm going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rosewood Bronzer. And I'm just going to apply that to all the areas that I use the cream contour. And yeah, just to define those areas again. And for blush, I'm going to go with the L'Oreal and it is the Life's a Peach blush. And I also um, figure that this blush actually smells like peaches. Didn't know that. Now I do. Um, so I'm just going to apply that all over the cheeks. And then I also apply that to my forehead, down my nose and my chin. So I'm just applying my lashes just now and always when I'm finished just like to push them sort of up so they're more winged out on the eye. I'm just going to use the white shade from the Blood Sugar Palette, Jeffy Star, just to really brighten that inner corner because it wasn't bright enough for me. Then I'm going to go in with the Pink Honey UK Honey Glue and I'm just going to brush this through the brows and then I'm just going to use my fingers just to set the hairs in place. It's almost like lamination and um, it just works really well for a fluffy brow. I'm also going to go through with the NYX Brow Mascara. I use this all the time, it's amazing. It just adds kind of a bit of texture to the brow. I'm then going in with my Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara for my lower lashes. Then I'm going to take Barry M's Toast Liner and I'm going to seriously overline my lips. So I'm going to overline in the centre of the bottom and I'm going to cancel out my Cupid's bow, but I'm going to bring the liner down so that it meets the corners of my mouth because I don't want it to look silly, duh. <laughs> then Max in anticipation, I'm gonna apply that all over the lips and then pat that in using my finger. And I'm just gonna try and blend it with the liner. I'm then gonna take Max Best of Me, cause it's just a little bit fairer. I'm just gonna pop that right in the center, do the exact same, blend it out with my finger. Then I'm gonna take the Primark Hydrate Spray and just scoosh, scoosh, scoosh that all over my face. So I wasn't really too happy with how the lip was looking so I went in with Max Cork just to deepen the edges and just cleaned it up with a straight edge brush and a bit of foundation. So guys, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section and until the next one, bye!